forecast from meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. We do have visibility restrictions out there. That is due to the rain that is moving in for the most part that has formed around Rockford and then moved to our north. That's where the rain is moving into southern Wisconsin right now at this point, producing some pockets of heavy rain and then also some lightning and thunder. That's pretty much going to be our main areas of concern throughout the morning and afternoon today. Also going to see some gusty winds later as well. The widespread showers are all off west of here. That was in Iowa and then moving into portions of southern central Wisconsin, western Wisconsin, and also portions of Minnesota as well. For the most part, though, across the state line, we're really not seeing any heavy rain at this point in time, besides up near Janesville and then moving out of southern Wisconsin, moving further north as well. We are forecasting the possibility of a couple of stronger storms as well. The Storm Prediction Center did place much of southern Wisconsin and then northern Illinois, pretty much most of our entire viewing area across the state line, under a marginal risk. This is for later this afternoon. We are going to see a line of showers and storms develop ahead of a warm front. That's going to be today. Obviously, the better chances, though, this is ahead of a cold front. There's a slight risk for the Minneapolis area, so a little bit more uh, down on the scale compared to what we're seeing as far as a marginal risk across here and then the Chicago area. The Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow did decrease our areas and push this further south, so very southern portions of DeKalb County are really the only areas that are included in that marginal risk. Tomorrow, really don't see the chances of seeing severe storms or really gusty winds. We are going to see winds increase between about 20 to 25 miles per hour today. That's what gusts are going to be up to. Tomorrow, slightly lower than that. As far as rainfall totals go, somewhere around a quarter of an inch, but because we are tracking the pockets of heavy rain that are going to be in the forecast, they already were this morning. That's going to continue through the afternoon. Could see a couple of areas that get a little bit of localized areas that are a little bit uh, heavier than that, say about up to half an inch, a little bit above that in some areas. So this morning, the rest of the morning, we are tracking isolated to scattered showers at the best, but these are going to become a little bit more widespread by about 1, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. That's pushing our west areas first. Those are going to form southwest of here ahead of that warm front and then travel northeast. So by Rockford, by about 3, 4 p.m. the afternoon, that's when it'll make it here in Rockford. That's then going to track further northeast, pushing Janesville and areas out of the state line then by about 5, 6 p.m. So most rain by the portions of early to mid-evening that is going to have subsided. Cloud cover not really going away overnight. Most of the showers that do form overnight then, this is going to be ahead of that cold front as that low pressure system inches closer towards the state line are going to fall north of here for the morning and then during the day tomorrow though most models do have the rain falling just south of here but thinking that we'll probably see a couple of showers out there tomorrow but not as heavy nor as widespread as what we're tracking out there the remainder of today and what we already saw with those pockets of heavy rain here's a live look out of beloit wisconsin this is one of our sky track cameras located across the state line that's sponsored by bryden motors lots of thick cloud cover that's not going away today might see a little bit of break in those clouds but pretty much holding on to mostly cloudy conditions the remainder of today we're at 71 right now in rockford 69 in rochelle 73 in freeport and 71 in galena so most temperatures are in the upper uh, 60s and then the lower 70s as well. Dew points come down significantly as early as the second half of Monday. They're going to be close to 75 degrees and then come down close to about 55 degrees. So a big change. 83 is your high today, 70 the low. Still stays very warm above average by about 5 degrees tomorrow for the start of our work week. Temperatures then come down to 80 on Tuesday. That's also when sunshine returns to the forecast. This work week, once we're getting through tomorrow, looking good, David, especially the temperatures. Those temperatures are going to be very nice. Yeah, really, really comfortable out there from Tuesday on, Savannah. Yes. Thank you. Well,